Breaking news, the People's Democratic Party has rejected the result of the Edo State Governorship election held on Saturday, September 24, 2024, over alleged irregularities and breach of due process in the collation of results. The party, which came second with its candidate, Aswe Yodalo, scoring a total of 247,274 votes, petitioned the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, demanding the return or collation at the world's local government at their lawful venues. The PDP coalition agent in the election, Dr. Tony Ayoha, made the demands in the petition in which the party alleged frag fragrant disregard and breach of the electoral process in the collation of the results of a do state governorship election held on September 24, 2024. The petition issued on Sunday, signed by Dr. Tony, the Edo State PDP chairman, noted that the INEC in Edo State has taken steps to violently disregard and breach the speculated process for the conduct of the ongoing Edo State governorship election. Aside from the widespread failure and refusal to use the mandatory Beavers machine for accreditation of voters in the voting centers in a do not, there is the int intentional refusal by electoral officers at various levels to duly and properly collate the election result in line with the mandatory prov provisions of INEC regulation. The officers of INEC have illegally and unlawfully Move the collation of wards and local government results from the designated place to INEC state headquarters, reportedly to give room for manipulation of results in fragrant uh, con con contravention of the provision regarding the process. Guys, things are happening in Edo State. INEC on Sunday night declared the candidate of the All Progressive Congress. APC, Monday Opebolo, the winner of the election. And ever since he was declared the winner, all hell was let loose in Edo State as the PDP rejects the result. However, the APC chairman in Edo State, Jared Tenebi, told the PDP to go to court if they are not satisfied with the result that they can head to court. The Adamawa State Governor, Amadou Umaru Fintiri, accused Einek of bias towards the All Progressive Congress and its candidates in the Edo State Governorship election, Monday Opebolo. Governor Fintiri, who chairs the Edo PDP National Campaign Council, earlier alleged that the APC, in collaboration with some INEC officials and security personnel, hijacked the election process. He alleged that the APC engaged in fabricating results to favor its candidate, Opebolo. The results collated from the polling units have Aswe Yodalo in clear lead before the state coalition exercise was hijacked by the APC, he said earlier on Sunday. And Opebolo was later declared the winner of the election by INEC. And following the declaration by Farouk Amadou, INEC returning officer, that Opebolo won the election, Fintiri expressed pain over the situation, where he quickly went on his ex account and tweeted, I weep for Nigeria's democracy after witnessing the shameful Edo gubernatorial poll. The official APC desperate attempt to discredit me by falsely claiming I announced results won't distract from the real issues. Now, even the APC national chairman flying into a do state with a private jet on election day, the fine movement restrictions, while their governors use arm armored escorts to intimidate voters. This blatant disregard for democratic norms is the real package. Nigerians are outraged, 
shaming and slamming Heineck for compromising and favoring APC. The reported vote buying, this disruption of coalition process, and suspicious results with more votes than accredited voters undermine trust in our democracy. Indeed, our democracy is under attack and we must condemn this rape, this rape of democracy and demand accountability. The world is watching. Nigeria deserves better. Meanwhile, the PDP have said they are not going to accept this election result. They will not accept this result. And you know what that means, guys? It means that they are heading to court. It means that the PDP will drag the APC to court. And that is just it. We've not even heard anything from the Labour Party candidate Olumide Osaibovo Akbata. But the APC has already told them that they should go to court. So, my country people, may kuna kon choke mouth for this matter. Now, Edo people used to say, Edo no be Lagos, Edo no be Lagos. This time around, things don't change. Things has really changed because it seems that Edo has indeed turned to Lagos. So, this is it. Although the election was more of a, uh, it was calm, it was peaceful. There were no much complaints of um, irregularities in terms of the beavers machine having glitches whatsoever. Voters were accredited, although in some polling units, some, some the, the number of votes seen in the All Progressive Congress was greater than the number of accredited voters in that particular polling unit. And I wonder, how come INEC collated such results when they can clearly see that accredited voters were less than the number of voters in for the APC? I mean, these things were not really tallying up. But I guess the PDP has no other option than to approach the court over this uh, issue. Not like they can declare that the election should be declared null and void. I know that will be the next move of the PDP to say that the election should be declared null and void, that they should cancel the election. But uh, I don't think, you know, going to court will change anything. So long as we are in this country, the court cannot do anything for any political party not the PDP, not the Labour Party, or any political party in Nigeria. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.